Greetings LEGO fans! I may be a big fan of retro LEGO, but a prime example of a modern LEGO series that's still going strong is the Winter Village Collection. This line has been shuffled through several different themes, the current one being icons, but has steadily provided us with a new release each year since 2009. I recently reviewed this year's edition on my channel, but I wanted to go back to the beginning and rank all 16 of these festive Yuletide offerings. So, build yourself a nice snowman and let's revisit these classic holiday delights. Taking the bottom spot is set number 10249, the 2015 remake of the Winter Village Toy Shop. Now, of course, since it's largely identical to the 2009 Toy Shop, it's not a bad set in any way. But it's puzzling that the new shiny release of that year ended up being a complete retread of what we had already seen a few years prior. I've heard several behind-the-scenes reasons as to why this happened, but in any case, it's a bit disappointing. At number 15, we have set number 10245, Santa's Workshop, released in 2014. It's a charming, fantasy-themed set with plenty of whimsy, but in my opinion, it's definitely the most dated-looking set of the whole line. I love the present machine and the inclusion of Mrs. Claus, who we don't get to see very often, but both the interior and exterior of the building are a tad underwhelming for something as presumptively grand as Santa's workshop. The brick-built reindeer pulling Santa's sleigh do have some old-school charm to them, but I've got to admit that the molded reindeer released a few years later are vastly superior to these. Again, it's not bad, but it's not really my cup of cocoa. Coming in at number 14 is set number 10267, The Gingerbread House from 2019. Now first, let me say that the set itself is absolutely gorgeous, and the design is top-notch from top to bottom, inside and out. The cozy interior and candy-colored windows are just perfect, and the little gingerbread baby is one of the cutest things I've ever seen in LEGO. The only reason this set is ranked relatively low is because I just don't see myself putting this in my winter village. As someone who prefers the more grounded, real-world-based sets in this line, it feels like a minifigure-scale gingerbread house doesn't really have a place. However, I could easily see myself displaying this as a standalone piece somewhere else in my Christmas decor. At number 13, we have set number 10275, the Elf Clubhouse from 2020. Much like the gingerbread house, this is another set that's firing on all cylinders design-wise, but it's just not something I'm super interested in putting in my winter village. The building itself is gorgeous, and it's something I'm tempted to pick up just so I can convert it into a quaint little mountain cabin. The big, chunky Christmas lights outlining the roof are an excellent touch, and they look like they lend themselves perfectly to being lit up with LEDs. The triple bunk bed is pretty adorable, but I can't imagine I'd be nearly as overjoyed at being tipped out of bed in the morning. The side builds are particularly strong in this set, with my favorites being the old computer displaying the nice list and the tiny reindeer-drawn sleigh, featuring the much improved molded reindeer. It's a solid set, but would once again struggle to find a place among my preferred Winter Village picks. Taking the number 12 spot is set number 10229, The Winter Village Cottage from 2012. The first thing that really strikes me about this set is the staggering amount of stuff included. You get a beautiful, large cottage house, a super cool truck with a snowplow attachment, a standalone shed for wood and tool storage, and even a small igloo. The snowplow truck is a particular standout for me, as it perfectly captures that old-timey feel and gives you a genuinely useful vehicle for your winter village. The house itself is no snooze either, with a wonderfully inviting aesthetic both inside and out. Perhaps the thing that detracts most from this build for me is the fact that a certain later release in this series did a lot of these same things a lot better, in my opinion. That said, the set is gorgeous and would be a welcome addition to my winter village if I could only afford the steep aftermarket price it demands. At number 11, we have this year's release, set number 10339, Santa's Post Office. Since I haven't had a whole lot of time with this set yet, this ranking could change drastically, but it feels good at this spot for now. As I stated in my review, even though this is a more fantasy-themed set, it really won me over with its overall look, the brilliant mail shoot play feature, and the tremendously unique and adorable hot air balloon. Being a post office, it feels like it will be much easier to integrate this into my winter village, and if I could only choose one North Pole-themed set, it would be this one. 
Furthermore, this set proved to me that leaks, rumors, and online buzz should take a backseat to experiencing a set for yourself. Breaking into the top 10 is set number 10216, the Winter Village Bakery from 2010. This is easily one of the more simplistic looking builds in the whole lineup, but that's kind of what I like about it. Though the building has a small footprint, the interior detail is delightful, with a nice big stone oven as its centerpiece. The front display window features all the delicious goodies within, and you can almost smell the colorful culinary delights. In addition to the building, you also get a small skating rink with some humorous storytelling elements, along with a Christmas tree stand and a horse-drawn carriage for delivering the trees. As an unapologetic enthusiast for old-school LEGO builds, this bakery is just as much of a treat as those found inside. Coming in at number 9 is set number 10254, the Winter Holiday Train from 2016. In case you haven't noticed by now, LEGO trains are pretty addictive to me, so a holiday-themed train is bound to get me excited. I would have preferred a more complete and realistic passenger train to the cutesy one we ended up getting, but I can't deny that this is still a lovely, festive addition to the Winter Village line. I particularly enjoy the spinning Christmas tree on the gift car, adding a zany element of motion to this train. This, of course, means that the train is best enjoyed when it's motorized, which adds an extra cost but is totally worth it. At number 8, we have set number 10259, the Winter Village Station from 2017. My love of trains naturally expands to train stations, and this one is a knockout. The diagonal clock tower entrance beautifully breaks up the rigid straight lines of many LEGO builds, and I liked this design so much that I used it as a basis for a western train station mock I built recently. Not only is the train station picture perfect, but the vintage bus included alongside it is just as great. The vehicles in the Winter Village line are some of my favorite elements, and this is another perfectly executed addition. The set's utility, unique design, and festive atmosphere make it a perfect part of any Winter Village. At number 7, we have set number 10263, the Winter Village Fire Station from 2018. One of only a few municipal buildings in the Winter Village series, this fire station feels right at home in a cheesy, feel-good Christmas movie. The building is substantially larger than most that came before it, giving it a bold presence. But the prominent red with festive green accents and snow make it perfectly integrate with the theme. I love the bright red double doors in the front that make way for another one of Winter Village's many great vehicles, the fire truck. I love this thing, and the extendable ladder on top gives you so many opportunities for storytelling. What else can I say? This set is another festive winner. Taking the number 6 spot is set number 10235, the Winter Village Market from 2013. This wonderfully nostalgic set might just be the most unique of the whole lot, as it's basically made up of nothing but side builds. Of course, the brilliant spinning and articulating carousel can be considered the centerpiece, but the various stalls surrounding it are equally important and beautifully recreate the feeling of an open-air yuletide market. There's just about no better way to liven up your town square than with this exciting, picture-perfect Christmas card waiting to happen. Just making the top five is the one that started it all, set number 10199, the original Winter Village Toy Shop. Talk about starting off with a bang. The success of this stellar first entry into the Winter Village line ensured that this tradition would continue. The building's design is basically iconic at this point, with the front facade making very creative use of the available bricks at the time to make something that still holds up very well to this day. The Christmas tree included here is an all-time great, and the basic technique used to build it is still being put to use in the large Christmas tree that's still on sale today from LEGO. The assortment of toys and gifts, the carolers, and the bench under the dual lamppost are all highlights for me, and I don't think I could have imagined a better beginning for this series. Coming in at number 4 is set number 10222, the Winter Village Post Office from 2011. I don't know what it is about this set, but I have loved it ever since I first saw it. It's just got that perfect, hallmark Christmas movie energy that I don't think is ever topped in this line. The post office itself is dripping with charm, with its massive circular bay window in the front revealing all the hustle and bustle inside. The post office truck is equally overflowing with charm, and is arguably my favorite vehicle in the entire lineup. 
The gazebo on the side is wintry perfection and provides a perfect place for minifigs to, you know, talk and stuff. The brick-built banjo and saxophone are the cherry on top of what I think is one of the all-time great Winter Village sets. At number three, we have set number 10325, the Alpine Lodge from 2023. Growing up next to the Rocky Mountains, the image of a snow-capped ski lodge instantly fills me with warm memories of the holidays. And this set absolutely brings that on in spades. The building techniques used to create a stunningly realistic log cabin are ingenious, and the festive accents completely win me over. The three-story interior is brimming with detail, and it's basically my ideal winter vacation destination. The generous side builds include an outhouse, another small skating rink, and a snowmobile, all of which complement the main build exquisitely. I love the setting and aesthetic so much that I hope LEGO adds a companion set to this one in the future. Hint, hint, LEGO. The runner-up is set number 10293, Santa's Visit from 2021. This is the first Winter Village set I ever built, and as such, it already holds a special place in my heart. Beyond that, however, the set is just amazing. Though it takes plenty of cues from the 2012 cottage, it innovates and expands on those ideas so much that it becomes its own. The design of the house itself is pure brilliance, allowing for a large, beautiful exterior with a positively massive interior space. This generous play area was the primary setting I used for the video that got me back into LEGO, which was a stop-motion Christmas card I made for the year 2023. The hours of fun I had making that video was the catalyst for the formation of this channel, and I have this set to thank for that in large part. The set is amazing on its own, but the personal significance it holds for me makes it all the more special. And at number one is set number 10308, The Holiday Main Street from 2022. This set was also heavily featured in my 2023 video, and I fell in love with it instantly. It just feels so complete, giving you two buildings and an incredible holiday tram. I kid you not, this tram is one of my favorite LEGO creations ever, and adding a motor and lights extends that magic even further. The toy shop and music store are both timeless and festive storefronts that have holiday window shopping written all over them. If all that wasn't enough, we're also given another lovely Christmas tree and a small build with a street sign and mailbox. These add so much to the atmosphere and make this set really feel like the complete package. I firmly believe that if you could only own one Winter Village set, this would be the one to get. But I'm sure you have some thoughts of your own on this beloved series. Let me know your ranking in the comments below. If you want to watch the video Christmas card I referenced in this video, it's right here on the screen. And until next time, be sure to spread cheer wherever you go.